I can't believe you're getting married, Emma. I never thought you'd be able to effort something like this. Well, I worked hard and saved up for it. And what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> Spare me the sob story. I remember how poor your family was in high school. You still look as pathetic as you did back then. Excuse me? What? Did you forget who you are already? You're destined to live a low life. This wedding must have cost a fortune. I bet you're in debt up to your eyeballs. Go home, Olivia. You are not welcome here. You don't talk to me like that. You think you're better than everyone now that you have all of this? Olivia, this is my wedding. I'll say it again. You are not welcome here. What if I don't leave? What are you going to do about it? Don't test me. What would you do if your bully shows up at your own wedding? My name is Emma and I first met my bully Olivia when we were in high school. It soon became clear that Olivia was not interested in being friends with me. In fact, she seemed to actively dislike me and I couldn't understand why. It wasn't until I started doing well in school that I realized what was going on. Olivia was incredibly competitive and she was jealous of me for my good grades. She had always struggled in school and it seemed like she resented me for doing well. She would make snide comments about my grades and try to downplay my achievements in front of others. Despite the difficulties I faced with Olivia, there was one bright spot in my high school experience. My friendship with Nick. Nick was an amazing friend who had such a brilliant sense of humor and charisma but he struggled in subjects like maths and science. He was always worried about being held back. So when he asked me to tutor him, I gladly agreed. I spent hours with Nick going over problems and explaining concepts until they finally clicked for him. It was rewarding to see him improve, not just in his grades, but in his confidence as well. He started to believe in himself more and more. And it was a joy to see him succeed. However, Olivia didn't seem to be happy about that. I knew she was jealous of our friendship, but I wouldn't let that affect me. Unfortunately, my life took a turn for the worse during my senior year of high school. My family's business went bankrupt and we were suddenly faced with countless financial problems. I tried my best to keep up with schoolwork and extracurricular activities, but the constant stress was taking its toll. To make matters worse, Olivia started to bully me even more. She would make up stories about me to turn my friends against me, and she seemed to take pleasure in my struggles. She even told everyone that my family business failed because my parents were dealing illegal goods. That was completely untrue. I was already feeling stressed out, and Olivia's behaviors made my life even more miserable. I didn't know how to make it stop, and I felt like I was drowning in a sea of problems. Nick was one of the few people who stayed supportive of me through everything. He tried his best to cheer me up, but my life got so hard that my family finally decided to move away. It was a difficult decision. But we knew that we needed a fresh start and a chance to rebuild our lives. Leaving my hometown and my friends was tough, 
but I was determined not to give up. Even though I couldn't afford to go to college like my classmates, I wasn't going to let that stop me from pursuing my dreams. I started working odd jobs like housekeeping or waitressing and try to save up as much money as I could. With so much going on in my life, I unfortunately lost contact with all my high school friends, including Nick. It was getting lonely, but at that point, all I cared about was my goals. I came to dream of something bigger. I wanted to run my own hotel chains one day. It was a lofty goal, but I was determined to make it happen. I saved up every penny I could and eventually had enough to go to college. I was even lucky enough to earn a good scholarship to help with the costs. I worked hard and got really good grades, knowing that my education was the key to achieving my dreams. I was also lucky enough to secure an internship at a fancy hotel where I learned firsthand what it takes to run a successful establishment. I soaked up everything I could about hospitality management, from guest services to marketing strategies. One day, while working at the hotel, I was surprised to see a familiar figure walk through the door. I couldn't believe what I saw as he approached the receptionist and mentioned my name. Hi, is there an Emma working here? Emma Thompson? Nick, is that you? Nick turned around and as soon as his eyes met mine, they were filled with joy. He gave me a warm hug and exclaimed, Emma, it's really you. I can't believe you're really here. Yeah, how did you even find me? Ever since we lost contact, I have been wondering where you and your family went. And then I just heard from a friend that they saw someone who looked exactly like you. And yeah, I went to find you as soon as I could. Oh, Nick, I'm so sorry. Life has been so crazy. I didn't even realize how much time has passed since we last talked. No, don't be. I understand. I'm just glad we get to meet finally. Yeah, me too. Do you um want to grab coffee sometime? I would love that. It had been years since we had last seen each other, and I was thrilled to see him again. We quickly caught up on everything that had happened in our lives since we had last spoken. Soon after, we started going out, and everything just felt so right with him. It was as if Nick was the missing piece that made my life so much fuller. I didn't even realize how much more joyful I could have been before Nick came along. He was living in another city at that point, but the distance felt like such a small setback compared to the love and understanding we shared for each other. We would text and call each other every day and talk about the silliest things in the world. Every month, he would fly to my city to spend quality time with me and sometimes I would fly to his. Fortunately, both of our careers were going really well, so we could effort going to visit each other quite often. For the first time in my life, it felt like everything was exactly where it was supposed to be. Before long, Nick proposed to me. We planned a beautiful wedding and were so excited to start our new life together as husband and wife. But there was one surprise that I wasn't expecting. It turned out that Nick was actually the son of the hotel chain owner. I was shocked, but also grateful that I had never known this before. I had worked hard to achieve success on my own, and I knew 
that my relationship with Nick was based on our love for each other, not on his family's wealth or influence. And so, Nick finally moved to my city and we started planning our wonderful life together. When we were working on the guest list for the wedding, we agreed to exclude Olivia. She was nothing but mean to me back in high school, so we both agreed that we didn't want her there. It felt like something was lifted off my chest when we made that decision together. I knew that we hadn't seen her for such a long time and she could have become a different person. But it was the most important day of my life and I didn't want to risk it. Just when I thought everything was going perfectly, something unexpected happened. It turned out that through our high school group of friends, Olivia found out that Nick and I were getting married. She texted Nick on his social media and congratulated him on tying the knots in such a friendly celebrity way. He politely said thanks. But in my gut, I felt like something was wrong. Nick tried to comfort me. And I wanted to let it go. But the anxiety lingered for a long time. And soon, I'd find out that my gut feeling was right. Olivia wasn't happy for us at all. On the day of our beautiful wedding, Olivia showed up uninvited. To make matters worse, she was in a white revealing mini dress and it quickly became clear that she wanted the attention to be all on her. She approached Nick and acted really nice and sweet, grabbing his arms as if she was actually the bride. Nick was going to push her away, but I didn't want to make a scene. I politely asked to speak to her in private and pulled her to the back. She began to show her true colors almost right away. I can't believe you're getting married, Emma. I never thought you'd be able to effort something like this. Well, I worked hard and saved up for it. And what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> Spare me the sob story. I remember how poor your family was in high school. You still look as pathetic as you did back then. Excuse me? What? Did you forget who you are already? You're destined to live a low life. This wedding must have cost a fortune. I bet you're in debt up to your eyeballs. Go home, Olivia. You are not welcome here. You don't talk to me like that. You think you're better than everyone now that you have all of this? Olivia... This is my wedding. I'll say it again. You are not welcome here. What if I don't leave? What are you going to do about it? Don't test me. Olivia gave me the most disturbing smile as she raised a glass of red wine in her hand. Before I could make out what she was planning to do, she slowly poured all the wine onto her beautiful mini dress. She didn't even stop there. As she reached to pull her hair so strongly, the whole hairstyle was ruined. Then, to my utter surprise, she raised her hand and slapped herself on the right cheek. I was still in shock. When she let out the loudest, most screeching scream, she immediately ran outside with her hands on her cheek as if she was heard by someone else. Everything happened so quickly that I didn't have enough time to think or react. The only thing that I could do was to run after her. She was already crying in front of everyone at my wedding party. Help! Help! I'm bullied by the bride! I'm so sorry, Emma. It's not my fault that Nick still has feelings for me. Olivia was sobbing so loudly that everyone was shocked. 
they stopped whatever they were doing just to figure out what was happening. Nobody knew what to do, so they only stared at her. At that point, Olivia had already run toward Nick, hugging his arms like a baby. Nick, please help me. Emma is so mean to me. I don't know what to do. I was so angry at Olivia's dirty tricks. I had to hold back the urge to run toward her and grab her hair for a reel. The only reason I wasn't taking any action was because I knew Nick had got my back. I could trust him with my life. So I knew he would somehow figure out a way to deal with this she-devil. She messed with the wrong people. And exactly like I expected, just when Olivia thought Nick was going to comfort her, he gave her the coldest reaction. Get the hell off me! Nick quickly pushed her away, and Olivia was so stunned she literally stopped sobbing. She didn't think a nice guy like Nick could treat her like that. Do you realize you're ruining the most important day of someone's life? Nick's voice was loud and angry. Everyone went silent, but I could tell that they felt bad for Olivia. The poor woman did look like she was bullied, not the other way around. But it was almost as if Nick could read their minds because just a few seconds later, a camera footage was shown on the big screen for everyone to see. People were so surprised, even amused, while Olivia was visibly horrified. On the big screen, she could see herself pouring wine on her own dress, ruining her own hair, and slapping her own face. She panicked and looked around just to see how many people were witnessing her dirty tricks uncovered. No, I... this is not me. I mean, it was just a prank. Yes, I, I was just pr pranking them. Olivia, you are not welcome here. You bullied me throughout my high school years. I was going to forgive you if you had realized what you have done. But you chose this for yourself. How did... Emma, <laughs> it was just a joke. I was just joking. She looked around again and saw that nobody believed her. Little did she know that Nick had prepared cameras all over the wedding venue to make sure we were safe at all time. We would never expect her to pull such tricks, but we were surely prepared for every situation. Olivia was so embarrassed, she quickly ran outside. I was relieved that this was all over, but quite upset that she ruined our wedding. Nick gave me the longest, warmest embrace when he told me that he would make it up for me and that there is nothing to worry about. And make it up for me he did. Nick and his family ended up suing Olivia for ruining our special day and she had to pay thousands of dollars in damages. It was a difficult situation, but it felt good to know that justice had been served. Despite the challenges we faced, Nick and I remained committed to each other and our dreams. We decided to get married again, this time on a secluded island where we could focus on each other and our love without any distractions. It was a beautiful and intimate ceremony, and it felt like we were truly starting our new life together. Now, we are running the hotel chain together, and we are stronger than ever. We have faced challenges and overcome them, and we know that we can handle anything that comes our way. We are grateful for each other and for the love and support of our family and friends. And we are more than excited to see what the future 
holds for us as we continue to build our dreams together.